what you see is not a chronologically ordered exhibition. What you see is an exhibition which is thematically put together and we thought about it as a landscape. So it's about the human body, it's about cyborg, it's about technology, it's about utopian architecture. And so when you walk in, you right away feel that this is an artist who made her work for this brutalist building. Ebold is an artist who is based in Seoul, in South Korea. She's the generation of Korean artists who are really very much influenced by the political situation related to the turn from the dictatorship into democracy. Her work is in a very subtle way involved with her own history and the history of her own country. The first room in the Hayward Gallery, you see her very early monster pieces. These works really remind you of something which is not at the exterior of the body, but the interior of the body. So it really feels like she's turning things inside out. When you look up here to these sculptures, these were actually costumes Ebal was wearing during these performances, walking through the street. And this is combined with her cyborg works, which were just happening slightly later. She says they're kind of two sides of one coin. So it's the inside and the outside, but both works talk about how we deal and engage with our body and also the idea of our bodies. Upstairs, we immerse into her larger scale installations. It's a very site-specific exhibition. She cares about the visitor's body, so a lot of the exhibition is nearly choreographed. It is about how your body feels within a work. And then we have another work called Scale of Tongue, which is beautiful in its detail. And it's nearly like a three-dimensional painting, so where you very much see that she is interested in the surface and what she calls the skin of landscape. And there is a certain kind of pain she feels for our world. The subtlety and the intensity of the work, she kind of brings things together which seem to not work together, like beauty and horror, and that imperfection is actually a human thing we should, we should accept. <laughs>